welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this week's video thank you to those who keep coming back i love you guys and to those who have just come across my channel you are so so welcome right let's get on to it okay as you see in the title this is a requested video on how i do the greenhouse effect method this is the video that I'm going to show you what I did when I got my dry, parched, over sunburnt hair to moisturise luscious, no longer nearly breaking off ends. I'm going to show you exactly what I did in days, how it transformed it in days. So if you want to see that, you got to hang on, okay? Okay, first things first, the hair is wrapped up. You are probably gonna see me having hair put away to protective styles, just locked up <laughs> the month of October and most of November probably, and maybe throughout to spring because my hair's doing all kinds of craziness. This weather here in the UK is not helping my hair. But for now, I just wanna tell you a little bit about the greenhouse effect because I have, there's some controversy about the greenhouse effect, huh? Some say it is the, um, baggy effect. Some say, no, it's the greenhouse effect. I don't care. Whatever it is, it makes my hair great. Like, my hair is transformed the next day after doing the greenhouse effect or whatever it is, bag effect. I don't care which one it is, okay? And the purpose of both of these methods are really to lock in the moisture, you know, just take it and hold it there. Now there's a reason why I'm giving you both of these methods because I kind of worked out for my hair that sometimes I need one of them and sometimes I need to mix both of them. I've, I've just found out what's best for my hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk you through a little bit about the greenhouse effect because I feel like some of us need to get caught up with what the greenhouse effect is. And some of you may already know, uh, I've watched a ton of videos just to make sure all that's been going on in my head and all that I've been practicing is in line with the natural hair community. And quite frankly, I've been very confused or calm. No, and honestly, I really think that the natural hair community, we can confuse everything. Well, thank God I have used this because I'm doing exactly what my hair needs. And I'm just using my brain, listening to my hair and looking at what my hair needs. So let me just tell you, okay, so you can decide for yourself whether you want to do the baggy method or whether you want to do the greenhouse effect, okay? Because any video you see on YouTube about greenhouse effect, including my video and the baggy method, you do exactly, just take the bits, okay? As my mother will say, take the fish and throw away the bone. Listen, there are consequences for doing the wrong thing with these two methods. Let me just let you know a little bit more about it, okay? So the cons are, so there are a few things that you need to know about these methods, okay? And I'm talking both of them, particularly the greenhouse effect. Because I mentioned before with the greenhouse effect, you really should not be doing it too many times in the week. Your scalp should be able to breathe. So we mustn't practice these methods for too long, okay? I've said it now. And why is that? Because you could have moisture overload. Because you don't want moisture overload, trust me. Moisture overload is on the other spectrum of protein overload, yeah? It's like that can break your hair and so can moisture overload. You could run the risk of your hair being really gummy, really stretchy, and thus your hair will definitely break off. And really what you don't want is to produce an unhealthy place in your scalp for bacteria to incubate. Also, you have to be careful of build up some overload on your hair. Now, there are some tips, okay? I don't want to scare you off. I know you're probably scared about doing this. I'm not doing this now, Mel. If you do the greenhouse effect properly, if you do it right, there are some great benefits, okay? So some of the benefits will be that your hair will be incredibly moisturized. You will be hydrating your hair. Your hair could be much softer, much more pliable. And of course, your ends, it will reduce the amount of breakage considerably. Okay, so I've got some notes here, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna go through some of them with you, okay? So the greenhouse effect, or better known as GHE. So the purpose of the greenhouse effect is to increase moisture retention. So it's to do with the scalp stimulation. You've gotta get your scalp really, really stimulated. So the products recommended to use on the GHE method is supposed to stimulate your natural hair sebum in your scalp. So natural oils and butters, you should be applying 
applying straight onto your scalp. Now with the bagging method, it's not the same, but it's very, very similar, but the intention is still to help retain moisture in the hair, but it's not focusing on the scalp, it's focus focusing on the hair strands and the ends. Now whilst they're very, very similar in what they do in the method, the products that you use are completely different apparently. So the products you're supposed to use for the bagging method is the leave-in conditioners, moisturizing creams, and just to further confuse you, both of them have the same method of slightly damping your hair, just lightly missing your hair, and applying the product. So for the GHE, the greenhouse effect, you're to lightly mist your hair down or lightly mist your scalp. Then you put the oils and the butters into your scalp, cover your hair with a shower cap or plastic bag, leave it. With the baggy method, you're supposed to mist your hair down lightly, then you're supposed to put the creams or the leave-in conditioner in your hair, not focusing on your scalp at all, so on the hair and on the ends, and then you're to bag it up and then leave in that. So if I haven't confused you already, <laughs> Let me just show you exactly what I mean. Right, with all that said, I'm just going to go through exactly. I'm just going to give you a little DIY tutorial. Um, it needs to be washed and detangled right now. It's a bit dry at the moment. It needs a little bit of a boost. Okay, so to mist my hair down, I use my black rice water that's got some essential oils in here to promote hair growth and to give me lots of strength. I will leave a link here. You will see exactly what I put in this. This is like the, the stuff, the juice. This is the juice, man. This is the juice that made my hair grow really um, long. I think it was a, an inch and a half I got in 10 days. Something like that, or 14 days, I can't remember, but that was, I got some good growth. And then with my uh, Black Rice and Aveda hair growth oil, I've only got a little bit left here, but I have a new lot here. Brewing up, which I'm going to be using. If you want to know what is in the oil, it's in another video. I will link it up there and I'll also put it down in the description bowl for you. Now, if you don't want to use black rice water, you can just use good old plain water, which I always used from a straight spray bottle like that. I also use products like Mel's Butter Me Up. You know this. If you've been watching me long enough, you know I have been introducing this for a little while now i'll leave the details in the description bar for this product and also the amari me leaving conditioner which is amazing it's very very moisturizing extremely moisturizing the predominant ingredient is aloe vera again i will leave the details in the description bar for y'all look you don't have to use any of these products that i'm using okay so typically at night what i would do Oh, by the way, I did trim my hair, guys. My hair has been trimmed. I didn't really chop that much off, but I mean, I'm not really wearing the right thing, but it's got me to a place, I don't know, just a, about here, where it was about here before. Anyway, it's not about length. It is about health. So typically in the night time, I usually do this in the night. I mean, a lot of people do actually do this in the day and then they go about their business. So the whole point is to use your own body heat to trap in some heat and then overnight, your hair's kind of cooking with all that goodness of the essential oils or the products that you have, leave-in conditioner or whatever, um, in your hair. And so that when you wake up, your hair is amazing. Although my scalp is where my hair grows out of, I really want to baby my ends because I feel like if I really look after my ends well, I'm going to retain length. So depending on my hair, remember that's the key, depending on what your hair actually needs, sometimes I might need to actually put a leave-in condition on there and sometimes I might need to put rice water on there and on other occasions I might just need to put spray mist of water on there and just an oil or water and a butter. So I just spray it into the hair because otherwise it's just going to go everywhere. Just get the ends really saturated. But not wet, but the ends are just damp. Okay, so now to seal that in, I may decide that I want to put a leaving conditioning, so I will go ahead and put the leaving condition. I'm basically doing the LCO method, so I've done liquid, now I'm putting the cream in, so it's a leaving conditioner. I'm just putting this on the ends like that. There's some short ends there at the back. And then I'm going to go in with the Mel's Butter Me Up, which kind of acts like an oil, because once I actually, it gets into contact with my hands, and I rub it in, it just produces like an oil. 
Okay, so again, I just go in on my ends. Just get those ends in. Like that, and then just use the excess to just cover my hair. Right. Then I'll do the other side. I'm just going to show you this side with an alternative. So I may want to just use water on those ends. So I'll just spray. And remember, this is the reason why I like using this one is because it gives a really nice mist. It doesn't really dampen it, it will mist it. So, and now I've decanted my uh, growth oil. I may want to just go in there and put a bit of my oil all over the ends. And then all I do is, before I do the next step, is just put some oil in the scalp, just really lightly. Nothing too crazy, you know. I just put a little bit in the scalp area, massage it about three minutes or so. So the next thing I do is put my hair up as a pineapple and then I cover my hair there we go kind of like need to I'm not really bothered about the scalp part not covered I cover it with a silk bonnet and then I go to sleep when I wake up chale when I wake up my hair and ends I'm not even kidding they're amazing doing it this way for me my roots are not wet then it's not frizzy it doesn't mean I have to wait like 500 years for my hair to dry my ends have stayed moisturized they look well treated my hair looks really well moisture I haven't put a moisturizer in my hair for the last uh what we know this is the second two days ago when I did this baggy method or slash greenhouse effect my hair looks so good it looks so well moisturized I'm telling you guys, this is a method that you should try and consider putting in your routine as long as you don't overdo it. If you overdo it, your hair's going to be stringy, it will be mushy, it will be overloading with moisture and you will regret it because your hair will definitely break off. I only practice this two times a week and depending on whether my hair needs it on the third time of the week, then I would do it. I definitely don't do it back to back one day after the other. <sighs> I don't even want to wash my hair right now because my hair is good. Do your research, guys. Have a look around. Get familiar with the actual methods and then pick bits out that suit your hair type. And don't forget, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe you've tried this baggy method or this greenhouse effect before and you didn't even know that it was such a thing. So, guys, I'm going now. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And, of course, it always indicates to me whether you enjoy this kind of content. And don't keep this video to yourself. Share it with somebody else who needs to know another solution about how to retain their length and keep their hair hair moistured and particularly in this winter so guys i will see you very soon in my next video you take care and god bless you bye